In 1 Peter chapter 1, Peter says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, according to his abundant mercy, has begotten us again to a living hope by the resurrection of Christ from the dead. We should be going out and bearing witness to the world. Listen, we are the only repositories of true hope in the world. We've got a corner on the market. No politician has this kind of hope. No positive thinker or motivational speaker can give us this kind of hope. We've got the real thing, folks. And the world around us is perishing for lack of hope. I was just reading recently saying that all categories of causes of death in the United States have dropped except one. You know what it is? Suicide. Newsweek had a cover article last May called The Suicide Epidemic. Listen to this. Around the world, suicide, quote, takes more lives than war, murder, and natural disasters combined. Wow. The California doctor, Jerome Motto, was involved in efforts to try and stem suicide in the San Francisco area, especially from the Golden Gate Bridge, which is the favorite place to commit suicide in the United States. He tells of going to uh, the apartment of a suicide in the 1970s. He says, quote, The guy was in his 30s, lived alone. He'd written a note and left it on his bureau. It said, I'm going to walk to the bridge. If one person smiles at me on the way, I will not jump. Now, this is the 70s. You can't, can't blame people looking at their phones. But the fact of the matter is that we are the third world for love and family and friendship and associations. That They say in other parts of the world, they have high networking and low net worth. Over here, we have high net worth and low networking. It was quite common to see people walking down the street holding hands or talking or engaging. Now you see people, they supposedly invited each other out for dinner at a restaurant, and they're not even talking to each other, not looking at each other. They're just looking at their phones. And we're seeing this growing alienation in the world and this hopelessness. And we have such a glorious message, a message of certain hope, a message of absolute assurance, and we need to get that message out.